Welcome to the Friday edition of Wine's World. And as you can see, I'm doing some cooking again today, just like I did on Tuesday uh, for complicated reasons. I would normally not do this particular video until Tuesday because Sunday is Stir Up Sunday. And Stir Up Sunday is the Sunday before the first Sunday in Advent and is traditionally the day when English cooks make their Christmas puddings so that they have a chance to mature between Stir Up Sunday and Christmas Day itself about hmm, five weeks. Well, actually I keep my puddings for one year so they're really, really <laughs> mature. I do make them on Stir Up Sunday but not this year. This year, this Sunday, is the first day of the water festival in Cambodia, known as Bonham Tuk, and I won't be at home. I'm going to be staying in a hotel down by the river so that I can be there at night so that I can photograph and video all the things that happen at night, which are really splendid, including a wonderful firework display. And I'm staying in a hotel down there because I don't want to ride my bicycle in the dark and uh, don't live close enough to walk. I used to live right by the palace and I could just walk and do all the videography and so forth without trouble. I can't do that anymore so I'm staying in a hotel so I won't be home to do my Christmas puddings so I'm doing them now. So let's get started. <laughs> thing I've shown you already in the cold open is the fact that I now have suet. I couldn't get suet for a very long time because the people who sell meat here, whether on the street or in the supermarkets or wherever, don't sell suet. Uh, they must just throw it away, I guess. Uh, or when they get the meat from their distributors, it uh, doesn't have the suet on the kidneys. I don't know. But anyway, you can't get suet any way, shape or form. But this year I discovered an Australian-owned supermarket that has all manner of stuff, including packaged suet. So this year I'm able to make my Christmas puddings with suet. And here it is already dumped out into a mixing bowl. And the next thing I'm going to do is add flour. And if you look at just about any recipe for Christmas pudding, whoever it is, I mean, even going back to Mrs. Beaton, they want to put breadcrumbs in it. And sometimes they also want to use self-raising flour. And I just think, what is that all about? They keep saying things like, well, we use breadcrumbs to make the um, pudding lighter and we use um, bicarbonate of soda or um, self-raising flour to make it lighter. And I just think, what? What are you thinking? Why do you want to make the Christmas pudding lighter? <laughs> That's just absurd. Christmas pudding is meant to be like a cannonball. <laughs> it's meant to be dense and heavy. So I don't ever add breadcrumbs or um, any kind of leavening, um, you know, bicarbonate of soda or whatever. I, I just use plain flour. So here we have four cups of plain flour. And then I'm going to add um, what was left from the, um, the fruits and the brandy that I used to make the pie that I made uh, last Tuesday. I had to actually add a little bit more fruit and a little bit more brandy because I didn't have enough because I wanted to add equal quantities of fruit 
and flour that's a four cups each and then just mix them all together and now you have to add some fluid well could add some more brandy that's normal um, but first of all I added four eggs so we've got four four and four as your basic proportions you know, four cups of flour four cups of fruit and four eggs but that's not going to be enough to moisten the pudding and so I could have added more brandy or I could add dark beer and Guinness is the uh, favored beer in England and I could have added it here but we've also got dark beers in Cambodia and this one is called Hanuman Hanuman is the monkey god in um, in the Hindu universe and why not and why not have an in a Hindu god in my Christmas pudding <laughs> I don't think it's, I don't think uh, Father Christmas is going to complain too much so I dumped in a bottle of dark beer and that turned the trick uh, between the, the the eggs the the brandy and the fruit and the, the the dark beer I had just the right consistency and so now here you'll see me stirring and stirring it's very dense it's very heavy and I was actually going to leave it overnight um, as I usually did when I made these in the United States um, although overnight meant <laughs> until about one o'clock in the morning um, when I um, you know, stir 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 and remember that when you stir the Christmas pudding you must m make a wish when I was a little boy my mother would make the Christmas puddings and then she'd call the family together and she'd say okay stir the pudding and that would all stir stir and make a wish and don't tell anyone so I'm not going to tell you what my wish was then and then put them into a pudding basin or two or three. <laughs> this this recipe makes a pretty big pudding and I don't want to make a whole one this size because I couldn't even get through it in the 12 days of Christmas. I just, it would be too much for me. I'd be eating gallons of Christmas pudding every day. So what I do is I, I make usually two fairly small ones and one medium sized one. And on Christmas Day itself, I decide what I'm going to do. If I've got guests, then I'll I'll um, steam the, the the medium one. If I'm by myself, I'll steam the small one, and then I'll figure out what to do with the others. I I might be able to manage getting through two small ones in the 12 days of Christmas, but um, chances are I'm probably not going to make one, and I'll give the others away and then I've got three more <laughs> in my refrigerator for the following year so put them into the steamer steam for anywhere between four and six hours longer the better longer the darker and then turn them out and then I put them in zip top bags with a ton of brandy into the refrigerator and just every now and again like uh, I don't know every two or three months check to make sure that there's still some fluid in there and if not then top up a little bit of brandy keep it going all year so you will see later the Christmas puddings that I made last year that I may have made a video of I don't know don't remember but you'll see them uh, on somewhere around Christmas Day being lit up <laughs> and that will be my Christmas this year so if you like my videos please like please subscribe please tell your friends and I will be back on Tuesday with some videos of Bonham Took have a great weekend